Hey, this is the captain's log. We missed last week. I missed you guys. Cowboy Bill, William Lee Martin in the house. Yeah, we're going to drive with him uh, yeah, gotta, looking okay. at the... I don't like to look thing. at the camera. I have to look at the road. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> so, yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, hey. We, hey. We're live. We just left, uh, uh, what is it, 98.1? 96K Rock. 96K Rock. Just a little change of the dial. Uh, so, yeah, did media this morning. And uh, welcome to the comics life. This is so, the uh, captain's log. You're going to be in town this week. You did a show last night. It was very funny. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's yeah. it. And you're out. Sunday's out. the day no, out. Sunday. You know, I don't like working Sundays anyway, so it's uh, worked out great. But it's nice that you made me do Sat uh, Wednesday. Uh, so normally, do you normally do shows on Wednesday? We do. We do every Wednesday now. It's been really busy. Wednesday is like our new Thursday. It's it's busy. It's busy on Wednesdays. I don't know why everyone wants to come out. Maybe there's nothing else in town to do. Diane Ward said good morning. Good hi, morning, Diane. Hi, Diane. Who's Diane Ward? She's just a, a faithful fan who loves comedy. Well, that's great. My cousin Al. What's up, cuz? Now, can you see that? See, I'm far enough away that I can actually read all those. If I was up close, I couldn't see any of them. You had oh. your, is that nearsighted or farsighted? Uh, that's farsighted. You're farsighted. It's the opposite of what you think it is. Right? That means there's a cop behind us wanting to know why we're on a, on a, uh, a phone while he's driving. <laughs> we're not on the phone, officer. We're streaming. <laughs> we're, we're going live. It sounds so much safer, doesn't it? It's much safer. <laughs> we're live, and that's where we are. So we're in the side of a, uh, this is a nice car. What year is it? Uh, 2017, it's Infinity, it's fun. It's I good. feel like we're on uh, Jerry Seinfeld's. So this, is, you ripped off that concept, right? No, I've been doing that. <laughs> I've been doing the captain's vlog. The captain's vlog started in uh, 2008. To the, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny, there's a, there's a guy, uh, a friend of mine came and did your club. He and I toured together uh, named Chad Prather. Yes, Chad. And a uh, great guy. Uh, but I have, I do my deal called Living in the Middle, but it's originally called the Cosmopolitan Report. Where I, take I remember that, actually. Where I would take yeah. an article from Cosmo, and I did it since like 2002. So I used to do it on radio for three years. And uh, I had so many, I don't know why, I feel like I should watch the road as well. You but, should, uh, in, uh, case I, in case I'm bad. You, somebody's got to drive this freaking thing. What? I'm setting, started, the, I'm setting the automatic drive. Once I, once I uh, started doing it on social media, I had people sending me stuff like, oh, he's trying to be a Chad Prather wannabe. <laughs> I was like, no, I've been doing the Cosmopolitan Report since Prather was still selling uh, uh, farming supplies at Granger uh, Supplies. So, but I've known him for a long time. But no, I know the feeling. I used to do the captain's log at the club on the on the stage that was like a dock, right? Actually, right. it was a dock that blew down in Hurricane Wilma, and I took the whole, all the wood, because it was that nice, rustic, worn out wood, and I built that huge stage at the club in Marco. And then the captain's log was basically what's called a vlog now on right. YouTube, and uh, that's how it started. Of course, nobody cares about my YouTube channel, but when I go live on Facebook, we get a lot of people to watch. Isn't it amazing? I, I do that living in the middle, and it, I have one that has uh, a couple of million views uh, on Facebook and on YouTube, the exact same video has 158. <laughs> That's story of my captain's log. That is the same. Oh, yeah. Everyone's like, oh, wow. Uh, you had this person, that person. That. I said, yeah. And like Kevin Hart was on it and freaking Amy Schumer was on it. And, yeah. I think, folks, this right here is where he's dropping names. Yeah, right? I mean, I got a little heat, but nobody yeah. watched them. <laughs> They're going to see more of me and you than they did of them. So good. Because yeah. <laughs> they're not coming anytime soon. You're Plus, here doing time. I'm here. I'm here yeah. to work it. Exactly. And it's beautiful. I haven't seen a cloud, so the whole talk of hurricanes is... Uh... So we're out of hurricane season, we're out. right? Yeah, we, okay. we had a rough hurricane season. Now, do, do you ever, because I'm, I'm absolutely, first time I ever came to Florida was about uh, right after, uh, it was two, it was 1991, what, 
Andrew. Andy Garrity. Was it Andrew? Hurricane Andrew. That was the brutal one on brutal Miami. One. Miami. Came yeah. through that, and I was working for Glidden Paint at the time. <laughs> so they brought us into town to mix paint uh, at the Home Depots way back then. Yeah. And it's my first time in Florida. I see all the water on the side of the... Uh, and I'm like, when does the water recede? And they're like, no, that's called the coastline. It's always here. Yeah. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. No idea. So that's how... That was 25 years ago. Now it's a big thing. Like, we had the Florida Water Management. And if you pull a permit to, like, build or whatever, somewhere, some somewhere in your property that has to be like the proper drainage right. but it all actually ends up going into the florida waterways so there's all these canals you see on the sides right. of the road and not only the canals but you see the uh the irrigation ditches on the sides right. they all have uh, like right there even that runoff right there goes somewhere into the water <laughs> yeah but what you just said Goes into like a lake or a river, okay. or it eventually goes to the ten thousand. You just hours. said, you just said, uh, all that water goes somewhere. Thank you. It's that, moving. That's it's why like, this blog is yeah. so well because like from you the just Everglades, said the water goes somewhere. So what what it is is like the Everglades moves at like seven, ten knots, right, and right. flows to the Gulf of Mexico where it meets the ten thousand islands, and everything from Lake Okeechobee south flows to the to the Gulf. Now what's a knot? What's that? Three miles an hour. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I think. I have no idea. I think it's three. I'm not a very uh, seaworthy kind of guy. I, I'm a captain. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? I don't even I'm know. But captain. I think it's three. It's like two point something miles an hour or something, right? Uh, Jason is watching. Hey, Jason. How are you, buddy? Guy Jason. Clark. Hey, guy. What's up, buddy? So we're just driving now. We're heading south on 41 Tamiami Trail. You can't get in a real hurry in uh, this area, can you? A lot of slow drivers. There's uh, a lot of slow drivers. And then you have the old folks that think that they are driving. They're driving fast for no reason, too. And they're in a rush. Where are they in a rush to go? That's where the drugs are kicking in. Yeah, it's like, where are you going? When the light turns green and the second it turns green, they honk. Right. It's like, I haven't even taken my foot off the brake yet to put it on the gas. Now, do you think that's uh, more from the snowbirds? Because I know when I travel up north and you're... You're from Boston, right? Right. So those uh, kind of folks seem to be impatient at times. I tell you, I can't. I can't figure it out because I'm like going to work, to from running to kids activities, and I look in my rearview mirror, and the guy's like 80, and the second the light turns green, he's like, I'm like, what? Uh, really? And he's you know what I do? The guy in front of us just flipped us off. Do you know what I do? I'm the worst. <laughs> I go like a half a mile an hour. Do you? Like I've become a total jerk. I almost understand why somebody, I mean, you're so close to heaven. I'd want to speed it up. Yeah, they want to get there quicker. No, you want to, you know, at least get to where you're going. You're like, this could be it. <laughs> they call this heaven's waiting room, right? Naples, Florida. <laughs> yeah, this is where you're, uh, you take your grandparents to die, right? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, you. it is on both sides of the coin. We have like 12 elementary schools in this one town who, I mean, we didn't have that in Boston. <laughs> Did you have that back home? No, we had two elements. Yeah. Now they've got 27. The there's like a there. gazillion. Yeah. So, I mean, there's obviously kids. Thanks, Guy Clark. Appreciate that. Hey, Guy. Yeah, we're we're just uh, making our way back. You're going to the hotel. Going to the hotel. You know, my grandfather died at 102. 102 years old. Wow. At the funeral, true story, my aunt falls on the ground going, I can't believe he's gone. <laughs> really? He was 102. Hey. He's only dead because God finally found him. Wow. <laughs> so how long do you think you're going to make it? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, my grandfather did everything that the doctors say you shouldn't. He smoked, and I don't mean smoked, he smoked unfiltered Campbell's. Wow. For 80 years. He drank, he took a nip of whiskey nearly every morning to wake him up move him along and he just made it I, I truly think that most of that stuff doesn't really add up to what's going to kill you you know no. unless you're drinking every day and you end up with cirrhosis or right. that, it's still just the luck of the draw it truly is I think at some point your body gives out and we're all you think he could have made 120 if he didn't 
No, I don't. No, I hope not. One oh two, he was. One oh two, he was. He the, tapped out. By the time he was eighty one, though, it's true. He's uh, he had he had like uh, they had to do the paddles on him three different times. Wow. Right? And uh, so at the funeral, me and my brother, and I'm busting jokes, and so is my brother. My brother's probably my brother Skeeter of all people, uh, <laughs> is is probably one of the funniest people that I know. Period. And I've met a lot of famous people like you. But if yeah, there's eight super people in the, famous. If there's eight people in the room, he can't talk. <laughs> but we're laughing and laughing. My grandfather had the paddles done three times from the time he was 81 to 102. Wow. And so he died three different times. He thought he had the only casket with a clapper. <laughs> That's all right. A clapper. That's crazy. So let me ask you this, because uh, this came up the other day with me and my wife. Uh casket uh, uh, cremation uh, what's your choice I think I think I'm leaning towards cremation because actually I saw something that seemed very intriguing to me where they build reefs commercial artificial reefs out of the ashes and they mix it into these cement igloos and then they put them down and they build like all these reefs under the ocean for fish and everything to swim in and this has kind of been yeah. intriguing me yeah. like I'm kind of interested and in maybe this is something I want to do well, that's kind of you know my wife wants to be buried in a nice casket and everything else and, you know once you turn 50 you know Every day you think about, you know, I never thought of death when I was 20. Right. 30, it's only to go see somebody who died too early. Yeah. Yeah. 40, you start, you hear about it and you don't listen. And by 50, you're like, yeah, that's going to happen, you know. So uh, she wants to have the nice funeral. I just think that it's just, it's either A, I, if you do put me in the ground, make sure the box collapses within... Yeah, the first, I don't know, because I want to be the food for the worms. Yeah. I truly want to go back into the earth and give something to it. Yeah. You know, they try to sell you in a, uh, you know, to, to get the... The big concrete. The concrete around you and uh, yeah. what are you preserving? Yeah, you're going to, you're going just you're wood gonna, crate? Yeah, wood crate. Done. Uh, my buddy Jeff Jenna has the greatest joke about his mother passing away. And he walks in, and the guy's like, this mahogany uh, one is $9,400. And he goes, that's great. Show me the box that box came in. <laughs> that's right. That's what I want, that's too. I want. Want, so either that or just uh, set me on fire and, and spread my ashes. I'm not kind of like you. Uh, I like to, to uh, actually have them done it on a comedy club or so, just a couple of ashes on the comedy club and... Right on the... That's where I enjoyed the life the most. On the stage? Yeah. Okay. Probably can't get away with it at your joint with the food and everything. Right. That might be a little health, dusty. Yeah. Health violations. <laughs> it's a little but, dusty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so nasty. Maybe you could just put it in the green room. The greatest <laughs> green room I've ever been in. There, that green room is, is an upgrade from the previous green room. With the toilet in it. Did you have a green room in the other one? Yeah. We had, we had a green room... It was basically a bathroom with the toilet right in the middle. <laughs> so then I had to take the toilet out and put a couch over the top because too many people made fun of it. Your couch smells like shit. Yeah. <laughs> but the new that green room is... Um, it's I don't, a broom closet, I don't people. Is that it's what that is? a broom yeah. closet. It was then what's the little a... closet next to it where we put the alcohol? What's that called? That's called a... It should be a liquor cabinet. You should have a door on that. Is there no well, door? Yeah, there's a liquor... That's a li So you're saying that, that you, the green room is supposed to be a broom closet? It is a broom closet. I think it may have been dry storage. No, no. That's a broom closet. There's nowhere to put shelves in it. It's not big enough for shelves. It's uh, it's pimped out though. It's got a light in it. It's got a light. It's got it's a little table. It's got a TV. It's got a TV that I don't know how to work. Yeah, it only works streaming. It's only it's only. And, and it said hit the button and say something into it. And yeah. I, I just give me cable. Yeah, there's no cable back there. It's just the, it's just the internet. It's got a, a table with three chairs. Yes. Because uh, apparently there's three acts. Now, tonight, who's the other act? 
uh, Chad Zumok. Zumok. Yes. He's Funny coming. Kid. He's coming in from LA for the show, and uh, he was in Tampa last night headlining when you were headlining here, and now he's going to drive over um, and be on the show. It'll be great. It's going to be a good show. Now, is, he, uh, is he a guitar act or does he? No. No, he's a stand up. Okay. Because yeah. I saw a straight stand up. Yeah. Oh, I know what I was confusing because there's a John Charles. John Charles that was there last night. The, last night, but if you. But there's another you, John Charles that plays the guitar. That plays the guitar. Yeah. Who's a Disney cruise act. Okay. So uh, I thought he was going to play guitar and John Charles, very funny guy who worked with him last night. He's, he, he did uh, a good job. He did. Yeah, he always does. Set so. the table nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we got one show tonight, 7 o'clock, and then uh, two. two tomorrow, 7 yeah. to 9, and, which is Good Friday, and uh, you should get a laugh. And think about it. You should come out on Easter because God has a sense of humor. I tell people that all the time. Uh, he, he has to have – think about it. If you don't think God has a sense of humor, I have two words for you. Yao Ming, <laughs> eight foot tall Chinese guy. Okay, makes one billion people under the five foot mark. Makes one guy eight foot. God's a prop act. <laughs> Maybe God's closer to carrot top than we realize. That's true. This is true. Well, anyway, this is the captain's log, guys. Is that it? Are we done? I don't know. What? Do you, I mean, do you want to be still talk? I don't care. I was going to get into my flying squirrel. Yeah, but... I want to hear it. I want to. <laughs> I have a flying squirrel bit. Let's hear it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm a sad guy. I was probably ten years old, and I was in Boston. I didn't even know flying the squirrels existed. <laughs> that that was a real thing. In my chimney came a flying squirrel. Came right down, and in the ashes, all of a sudden, there's a freaking flying squirrel running all around in the chimney, making ashes everywhere, and I. So, had no idea what the thing was because now he was black with. You sure it wasn't a bat? No, dude, it was a flying squirrel. <laughs> so, so I caught him finally, scared the hell out of me. I let him go in my front yard, right? And the thing literally jumped, 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 and freaking glided right off my. Because we were on a cliff. Like, the front of the yard was like probably 20 feet elevated from the road. Really? He glided right off. And that was my only flying squirrel a bit. That, that's, it's not funny. It's just a real. No, thing. it's uh, the first time I saw it. I was a kid, and and uh, uh, it took off. They had it at the zoo. Yeah. And it, I mean, it just was up, and then. Yeah. And uh, I I forgot what famous comic used to do a bit about it, but he said, "Don't you uh, don't you think the other squirrel thinks it's a superhero?" <laughs> <laughs> he probably does. He <laughs> was like, wow, that, guy, that one can fly. <laughs> Ma, how come I can't fly? So, so, yeah. That's true. Now, do you have dogs? Now, look at this girl here. Look at her smoking the cigarette there. Roll down your window. Tell her it's 2018. I know. Yeah, I do. I have two dogs. I have one little chihuahua. Yeah. And then I have a lab. Do you have a lab? I have a labradoodle. Oh, okay. Well, I have a lab, and did I was not forewarned that in order to have a lab for a long time, like a ten-year lab of great loving dog, you have to put up with two years of hell. <laughs> did you know this? No. I think I deserve twenty years of good dog. I keep telling my kids this. Well, how was the Chihuahua though? I, I the Chihuahua I was... for about a year and a half was really a little son of a gun. I heard Chihuahuas only adorable. like one. I don't. I heard they only like one person. Mine likes everybody in the house. Loves him. All the kids. Everything. He's a doll. Really? Yeah, he's a doll. What well, we? His we, name uh, is Romeo Stallone. You gave him two names. Romeo Stallone Spina. <laughs> yeah. Three names. Because he's a lover and a fighter. We went ahead and gave him the last name too. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's three names. Oh, well, we uh we have Bella, and uh, it's a well, labradoodle. That's what my dog's name is, Bella. Really? Yeah, she's a shit storm. I call her because <laughs> it's a disaster. Well, when my wife first got Bella, I was dead set against uh, getting a dog. I uh, yeah, I have five kids. There's no reason to get another thing that I got to look after. And uh, she wasn't really my dog at first, and uh, now me and that dog are tight. 
I would I would kick out my wife before I kicked out the dog. Wow, that's how my wife feels about Bella. That's, <laughs> that's her that's, that's her baby. Yeah. yeah, not me. Bella goes not everywhere me. I go. I'll take Romeo. I'll be I'll be one and done. The other one? <laughs> one and done. No way. With a dog. No way. Romeo, I'm cool with Romeo. Bella, disaster. Tears up anything anything she can get her hands on. Anytime she sees you, she's just like out of control. My dog is always so happy when I come home. And, and uh, it's the best feeling ever. It's good. It, that is a good part. But Bella just doesn't know when to stop. Now, no cats? No cats. Yeah, I see, I like cats. And uh, I got a buddy of mine that's in an open marriage. You know, so that means he can have a girlfriend, his wife can right. have a boyfriend. I told him, I go, that's amazing. My wife won't let me have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you, she's got the lockdown on you. She's got the lock. Well, guys, we're signing off here on the Captain's Log. Cowboy Bill all weekend. William Lee Martin. Get your tickets. I'm Captain Brian. It's been a good day. Take care.